Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Rongwejana and you tuned into Friday the 13th of October 2023's Rhapsody Reading. Today's title is Cut Them Off. While you're still at that, please remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Kindly like and share these videos with your loved ones. And do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. The opening scripture is Matthew 4 verse 10 with the NLT Bible version, which reads as follows. Get out of here, Satan, Jesus told him. For the scriptures say, you must worship the Lord your God, serve only him. Pastor says, when the Lord Jesus ministered to different people in Bible days, he cast out a lot of demons, showing us that demons are responsible for most of the afflictions that people suffer with. And in Mark 16 verse 17, he listed several signs to identify those who believe. And the very first of the signs is that they shall cast out demons. But during his 40 days in the wilderness, he gave us an insight into how to deal with Satan and demons. Satan had come to tempt him, and the first temptation was for Jesus to command stones to be made bread. In response, Jesus, quoting from the book of Deuteronomy, said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. For the second time, the Bible says, Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. That's Matthew 4, verse 5 to 6. Again, Jesus responded and said, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. That's Matthew 4, verse 7. Then came the last temptation. At a high mountain, Satan showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment, offering them to Jesus if he would bow down and worship him. Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan. The original word in Hebrew for get out of here signifies sink out or dis disappear. That's casting out the devil. In those three temptations, Jesus was consistent in emphasizing to Satan, it is written, and after establishing that clearly, he said, Get out of here. That's how to deal with Satan. You cast him out or cut him off from your home, from your body, and from your city and nation. Hallelujah. If it's your child and he or she is within the age where you are still in control of what they do. You say, devil, this is my child. Take your hands off my child. Get out of here. He has got to obey because you are exercising your authority in Christ. You have the legal right, the power of attorney to use the name of Jesus and subdue Satan and his demons. Cut them off. Glory to God. All oh, praise God. Let us take the prayer. Say, Satan has no right to run things in my life, in my home, or the lives of my loved ones. By my authority in Christ, I exercise dominion over him and his demons. I walk in power and in the glory of the Father. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For further studies, we read Matthew 10, verse 7 to 8, Luke 10, verse 19, Mark 1, verse 25 to 26, with the message translation, and Ephesians 4, verse 27. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 17, and chapter 3, verse 1 to 13. And also Isaiah 57 to 58. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we read John chapter 5 verse 28 to 32 and First Kings chapter 20, all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow as we read the message more than human. Praise the Lord. This is Information with Tepiso. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a beautiful day.